hey, I've got some fantastic news that's just broken. Guess what? What? It's unrelated to this trailer that we're about to do. Okay, hold on. HBO has commissioned four new episodes of Adventure Time. Boom! Yes! Isn't that good? Which I reckon earmarks possibly the fact that HBO will commission more. So anyway, I so hope so. Anyway, so this is a horror, supernatural horror film type thing. Me and Kiki watched the teaser trailer before this. Okay. It's got Jesse Plemons in it. Oh, yeah. yeah we love Jesse Plemons. We love Jesse Plemons. I watched Plemons. the Breaking Bad movie recently. He's the best thing in it. The only good thing in it. Yeah, the only good thing in it. He plays ordinary psychopath like no other. And it's produced by Guillermo del Toro, oh, yeah. who is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, which we didn't get to see because it was on at one was cinema for Water? one evening. Oh, he directed Shape of Water. But he's also kind of trying to make a name for himself as the publisher and producer almost of good horror. Oh, right, okay. So this is called Antlers, as in the antlers yeah. you wear on your head. Um, but whether, I can't remember if antlers are actually worn on the head. I mean, antlers are always quite horror, aren't they? A bit Blair Witch. Yeah. Didn't you watch Blair Witch last night? Yeah, but we I, all fell asleep. Is, is it, has, does it not stand the, stand the test of time? the recent one. It's a new one. Right. Yeah, it's boring. It's boring. Horrors, where, what do you think the future of horror is now? Hopefully stuff like Get Out and Us, stuff yeah. that's original. Almost social horror. Psych yeah, psychological horror scares me more than any other yeah. horror. Like Supernatural, I watch it for the jump scares. For horror films that actually affect me for ages, yeah. it's psychological ones. See, the, do you know the ones, the subgenre that really gets me these days is AI horror. Oh, yeah, that Clever sci Clever AI horror. horror. Yeah, yeah, sci-fi But horror. I mean like ones, yeah, ones that are like realistic enough that you would be like, yeah. okay, that could happen. Like yeah, Purge. Yeah. Yeah. Purge isn't necessarily scary, but the concept is. Right, gotcha. But like, uh, that's that's what scares me really. It's with supernatural ones, I'm like, I know that doesn't happen. So. Yeah, I'm the same, I'm with you. Okay, well this is, I think this one features a sort of strange child with weird things going oh, on. Cool. Horror films have this tendency to always home in on the domestic. So whether it be a house, whether it be a wife or yeah, a mother, moving, or whether it be a baby, it's the things that are theoretically domestic and safe become the location of horror. Yeah, but horror. when it's done as many times as it's been done, it yeah. no longer becomes... I agree. I agree. Scary. I agree. So my problem with the Halloween franchise is twofold. One, oh, at the end of the first... One. They're making two more, one. and then another. My problem with the first Halloween was that it went supernatural at the point that he disappeared when yeah. he fell out of the thingy. And my other problem with the Halloween thing is that if, it, if all that he can do is stab people, that is overcomable. Yeah. Yeah. Just anyway. kill him. Just kill him. Anyway, maybe in this one you just have to chop their antlers off. <laughs> So let's check it out. He doesn't look well. That's what Don't I... kill the skunk. Oh, this is what I was like when I was a boy. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. That's cool. No, it's not. He was like reading something. Oh, I like it already. It's got the click clock. Oh, run away! Oh, he's industrious, isn't he? Oh! Oh, I thought it was a doll. Show too much. Did they show too much? No, no. I, they they showed quite a bit, but I don't think that that's all they have to show. Let's say it loud and let's say it proud. That as soon as you go tick, tock, 
talk. Tick, you make a you make talk. a trailer. It, a trailer just starts to well, it's a ticking bomb waiting to explode in you. Yeah. Facey balls. That's what Kiki always says whenever there's a trailer that has that. Yeah. It's in like editing getting thing. closer, closer. Do you realise there was like no talking in the trailer until he said daddy at the end? Oh yeah. Do you think the creature right, here's the thing. What it's do we dad. think? Yeah. Well yeah, that's what he said, Daddy. Oh, yeah, because we haven't seen a dad, have we, until then? No. Oh, my God, do we know everything? Does it matter? Does it make us want to see it more? I, yes, it does. I still wouldn't really... It was kind of something quite, like, indie about it as well. There was something very indie about it. I really it. liked the little boy's face and the, the ginger boy. one standing with him. Oh. Um, that boy reminded me, years and years ago, there was a film called The Tin Drum, based on the book by Gunter Grass, mm -hmm. and there was a scene in it where the camera sort of looks like it's looking up a woman's womb, right. but into, the, into her pregnant tummy. Yeah. And at the back of the womb, there's a boy... Like that, saying, go away. And he, he, that boy looked like that boy. Okay. Yeah, that image, I remember catching it on a Channel 4 late night screening That's on my really television eerie. in my room where I had to get the reception of holding the aerial out of the wall. <laughs> and I watched it and I was like, it's haunted me to this day. That is so disgusting, go away. Go away. He didn't want to come out. He didn't want to come out of the womb. He wanted to stay there. Oh! That's so eerie. Check it out, the tin drum. I think that looks Imagine good. a baby that just wouldn't leave your womb. Yeah. Like you'd want to... Yeah. <laughs> That's our hate oh, don't, the whole pregnancy don't. thing. Maybe. That's a good horror story, a baby that refuses to come out. <sighs> would it just grow and grow? Would it die? No, it would yeah, die. Yeah, it would overwhelm you. It would die eventually. It would end up eating you. Uh, We've got a new horror story there. Uh, Guillermo del Toro, you can option it here now. This is our IP. We it's have up. registered it. Hit us up. Guillermo, I'll make it. 